Greetings, fellow nerds. Welcome to another MDG Nerfo video. You know what we're doing? We're playing some more crazy, fun Kaldheim standard decks. So if you want to see more of that, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, hit that alarm bell, whatever helps you find me a little bit easier in the future. And of course, if you are a subscriber and I do have to see your subscription for this, and you want me to play a certain type of deck, and you've got a debt and you've got a deck list ready to go, or if you want me to build something, um, be sure to uh, comment down below what kind of deck you would like to see me play, and I will be sure to feature it on Fan Friday Submissions. We've got our first one in the bag, and um, you know, if you want us to uh, still be a part of that in the future or this week, please, please comment down below, and uh, I'll be sure to feature what you got. Um, so really looking forward to that. Um, today we're revisiting an archetype that um, is pretty good, didn't require a whole lot of changes um, some changes but not a whole lot so um, let me show you what we're doing with mono white aggro so we got selfless savior very good at um, you know protecting a creature um, I still want to play three even though exile effects are uh, plenty um, but now that we're playing against control we plays doomscar over extinction event every now and then it's pretty good Sentinel's Eyes. I really like this because it gives Vigilance and we're making creatures big. We're giving them Maw of the Skyclave. So, and um, against Mill or Discard, it's a really, really good card. Usher of the Fallen, two of. Um, great card, can go wide. Good one drop as well. Two Glass Caskets for the removal. Uh, just in case we're, you know, playing against Mono Green mostly. Luminarch Aspirant, of course. Season Hollow Blade, no surprise there. Banishing Light, again, always push for this. Very great card. In white, best of one. It's the card you want to be playing. Buzz Recrit to buzz, uh, buff our creatures. And, um, of course, the ultimate is just win the game. Uh, decide to keep the Lava Bring Venture. Uh, it's been pretty strong for the most part. And uh, when I was playtesting it, even in the current standard, did a lot of good work. So, decide to keep it. Maul the Skyclaves, um, of course. And I am playing two Redanes. Um... There are enough snow decks or decks that run snow cards running around. So I decided, you know, it's not like the most aggressive, but um, either side is really, really good. Um, and, you know, giving this creature, getting this creature really big is pretty hard to answer. So I want to try her out. And she seems pretty good, honestly, even if you're playing against non snow decks. Skyclay Evaporation, uh, Bosby's Lieutenant. And then we got four Castle Honor Veils, 18 Planes, and two Fabled Passage. Um, not playing a full set of Fabled Passage because we do have early drops and I want to hit those on time. Two is good um, because uh, usually, you know, playing a turn one or turn turn four plus, pretty good. So that's usually when it comes out too. So, all right. Oh, this is a very risky keep. I'm going to go for it. Could be making a huge mistake and some of you are probably screaming at me going, I see, snow deck. So Redane. Might be really useful here. Um, this is probably a fervent champion. Yep. So they're playing frostbite. Something very important to note. Um, don't mind drawing seasoned hollow blade. Can give it indestructible. I don't need two Bosby's lieutenant. I think somehow managed to draw both. <laughs> All right, double fervent champion. So I'm taking four here. Did they only draw? Did they keep a one lander? You know, that means they have three Fervent Champions. They said it was worth the risk. So, um, that's actually okay, though. Because what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to play the Skyclave Apparition. So, um, this is also a Frostbite coming in. Something important to note. Um, oh, or not. All right, that's cool. Is he going to attack? Is he going to risk it? What's he going to do? Wow, this would be pretty crazy, actually. Uh, all right, Mono Red, this is what you get. So this tells me it is Frostbite, though. That's, or we win the game. Um, but I think that was a Frostbite, which was um, interesting. Um, I can see the temptation to keep. Um, but even in Mono Red, I wouldn't necessarily advise that. So, um, you know, cool. Level up as well. All right, so uh, we beat Mono Red. <laughs> I don't know if you can call that beating. We just, uh, you know, our next turn was going to be pretty, pretty painful for them though, because we were going to Skyclave Apparition. Next turn, probably play a Bosri's Cat. Uh, very good hand here. Going to keep. So, turn two. Going to go for the Season of Hollow Blade, because then I can chuck the Sentinel's Eyes. Again, Sentinel's Eyes, 
very very good especially in combination with the season hall blade or decks that play like mill or discard just i i like the addition it's and it's cheap too it's not like i usually tr try to shy away from or enchantments but um in this case very very good now i do need to draw a land so something to consider hope to draw a land um Redane might not be super useful here but her shield side is pretty good if you didn't know what it does it says if a source and opponent controls would deal damage to a permanent you control prevent one of that damage so it does everything a little bit less and then when you or another permanent you control becomes a target um counter that spell unless they pay one so it makes them it's a tax so it's pretty hard to pass up honestly okay so we did not draw the um third land it's not the biggest deal in the world um again it gives i don't technically need two of all the skyclaves to kind of get going so it's all right it's not the worst thing in the world um i do but i probably actually will play the skyclave apparition if it comes to it oh nice trigger i don't necessarily encourage this in an orzov uh cleric stack it just kind of slows down your plays but it does work well with the um last one interesting that he didn't play this first could have gained more life i think but that's all right that's what he wants to do um let me draw land okay good so i mean this is effectively this but better so i'm going to kind of make life a little bit more difficult for them and whew, i don't know if i really want to trade you know what i will give them the choice because again this is getting bigger so it's up to them okay so that, that was debatable but um, it, that could have been harder for me to deal with, and again, I still have ways to buff this, um, so I'm not super worried. Um, I may put the Maw of Skyclaves on the Skyclave Apparition just for it to be a little bit more offensive, and it may be a little bit easier to protect itself, so. We're looking pretty solid. Um, Alright, that's fine. Uh, no Priest is a good card. I do like it, actually. I do like it a lot, so. um this is interesting though okay actually that was fantastic i'm gonna do get this guy out of reach and then play this so that way they both get in and giving vigilance to a seasoned hollow blade is pretty strong if you ask me so um, I think we have this. We just need to protect this. Honestly, and we win the game because we have a Mall of Skyclaves. And, you know, we chuck the Redane because uh, they're not playing snow stuff. Ooh, okay. Huge. Actually, life gain. Actually, huge. Um, looks like they have some... I don't know. Oh, um, Blood Chief's Thirst. All right. Yep, we will definitely activate. Oh, oh, I just said we chucked the Redane and I almost did the exact opposite. So that was bad. Don't do what I did, people. Gains two. Okay, so he thinks he's going to survive. Unfortunately, he is not. Sorry, my friend. I am all in the air. Yeah, also Vigilance first strike. <laughs> pretty hard to handle. So that's why I really like the Sentinel's Eyes. Uh, I think it's a very good addition to um, Mono White. So just something to consider. It, it's just very good against the meta right now where... Rogues are still a thing, even though they haven't really changed anything to my knowledge. And this card uh, decks are all flying all over the place with elves, even. Um, you know, Croc Rakdos got more uh, utility. Um, so just uh, overall uh, things um, that you can utilize from your graveyard um, have gotten a nice buff. So, all right. So I know I said usually turn one we Fabled Passage, but I don't know. I, well, okay, actually, we do unless we draw another planes, which we did. Okay. The reason for that is uh, I could boast or hold up the glass casket, but now we get both options. So that's pretty nice here because turn two I can boast or turn two I can glass casket. 
whatever's happening here. Okay, looks like we get to boast. Don't hate that. Oh, he's playing a... Uh, okay. Okay. So, I'm not sure really what I need to look out for, but... Uh, it's Mardu. Jeez. This is tough. I really don't know what we're playing against. I think we'll get a better understanding once we... Because I'm surprised it's Mardu. I would understand if it was Rakdos. Oh, we lost a land. Don't hate that. Oh, he still has a land, so... No problem for him. Bone Crusher right here, I would imagine. Could be wrong, though. Not entirely sure. Yeah, this looks like a Bone Crusher incoming. Don't hate that. It's not the worst thing in the world. Ooh. It's not a bad pickup either. I'm going to play this, though, and I'm going to name Odd. So next turn is actually super awesome. We can Luminarch Aspirin and Glass Casket. Ooh, not a bad card for them to chuck into the graveyard with the Throne of Death. Throne of Death is super weird. Um, and I'm not like the biggest fan of Aegon because it's just doesn't have a good way of protecting itself. And for sure, 6-6 six, six Death Touch, very bad. But even I wouldn't play that in a Finn deck. It's just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. In this type of deck, though, of course. But even then, it seems weird that you can't control. So I don't know. I, I, I'm I not huge on the Throne of Death. Aegon God of Death. Very cool, though. I like the art for sure. But it, the, car, the card itself just seems a little strange to me. But I don't entirely know. Okay. Oh, double Luminarch Aspirin. It's pretty good. So I am going to Glass Casket, though. Just getting for a lot of damage. Now, the thing is, the Luminarch Aspirin, I kind of have to decide. Here's the thing. If they have Bone Crusher in hand, Luminarch Aspirin's dead, no matter what. So, I'll just put it on the Lava Brink. Just protection from Odd is pretty good, so... Oh, they lost a Bone Crusher, so maybe they don't have the third in hand. If they do, no big deal. I'll just play the Bosby's Lieutenant, get things a pumping. Go with the Roast Rider play. Makes sense. Oh, not bad from our opponent because they get the counter and uh, they get to sack it. So, nice play, opponent. Really cool. Really, really cool. Does this for a little damage. And then he sacks it. That's really cool. All right, I approve. I approve. But I'm really glad that we didn't put it on the Luminary Iceberg because, you know, just we avoided a lot of problems. Uh, and we made our Lava Brink bigger. Okay, getting a little flooded here, but that's all right. Little flood never hurt nobody except in a best of one. <laughs> all right, I'm going to play the Bosby's Lieutenant here. It's a pretty easy decision. And we're going to put the counter on itself. And we win. Yeah. Yeah, the, the throne, kind of weird. Like, you know, having the bone... Like, if he drew the bone crusher instead of uh, discarding it, might have been a very different game. So, not too bummed out about that at all. So, we're doing pretty good here. Doing very, very good here. And uh, let's keep it going. I saw a merchant play the horn blast uh, in the mono white weenie deck. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't do that necessarily, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm just, uh, a little bit more cautious, and we're gonna keep this. Easy peasy keep. No, it's a little on the low end, um, but pretty hard to pass up all the stuff that we got going on, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. And, uh, we drew the land anyway, so... We are getting massively rewarded for something that should not be happening. But that's what we do here. And giving this vigilance, not bad either. And if they bone crusher it, that's okay. Because we just go boop boop. Doesn't even have it. It doesn't even have it. Alright. Well. Uh <laughs> my friend, you are in going to be in a lot of hurt. 5-4 flying vigilance first strike. How about that? <laughs> and it has protection. 
So, uh... <laughs> Easy peasy, my friends. Easy peasy. Mono White has... Still good. It's still very, very good. So, we're gonna keep the grind going. Let's get in for one more game, yeah? Let's say one more game. Oh, we got 20 gems, which... Isn't a whole lot of currency, really, but... I mean... I think... I don't know how they would do the currency system any better because it like seems hard to get your wild cards. It seems very hard to get um, your mythics, um, even if you buy packs, which is like, yeah, uh, it's money and you don't necessarily want to be doing that all the time. So I, I'm not really sure. So, um, ooh, looks like we might have the draw bug. Has anyone been getting this recently? I guess this is telling us we need to end the video, but it'd be kind of short. Um, I think this is the draw bug. I'm like pretty sure it's the draw bug. Like 80% sure. It took a little too long and just doesn't... Oh, okay. No, it just took a long time to get the game going. Ooh, he's got to turn one play. Oh, it's the spirit. I like it. And this is a snow deck. So Redane, if we draw her, could come in very handy. So that's just something to consider. Um, becomes a 2-3, right? Yeah, so he gets a free attack here. Oh, he's playing multiples. Oh, I like this one with the ship. That's really cool. Ooh, not a big fan of that. Not going to lie. So what do we do here? Oh, man, I really. Um, not going to lie. I forgot he could do that. I forget how vehicles work. So we're going to glass casket here. <laughs> he says nice. Yes, I, I did forget. Whoops. Forgot vehicles can also be used as defense, even though they have summoning sickness. So not my best of plays. So uh you'll have to uh you'll have to pardon me for that. So um let's see if we can Okay, he didn't draw anything, that's huge. Or didn't drop a land. What's this? Spirit rug when it comes untap draw a card. Um, I don't know if I care about that. Yeah, I don't think I particularly care. So I'm gonna skyclave apparition here. And this guy comes a two three, but it could get bigger afterwards, so let's just kinda like not do that. Um next turn I'm gonna play the selfless savior first to see if he has a counter spell, and then Maul of Skyclave, so we'll have options. What just happened? There was like a weird moment where he played a land after he declared attacker. Did anyone see that? Did I just miss something like crazy? I don't know what I missed. Is this mono blue aggro? I might want to build this deck. All right, gets another spirit. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I think that's a counter spell in hand. So I'm gonna. I think it's okay to bait it out. It's not. What does he have? Um, let's see that. Oh, okay. No, that's for the aspirant. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so block, block. So we still are looking pretty good. I'm gonna hold back. So that'll become a two-three. That's fine. And then it becomes a four-four. It's actually kind of rough, not going to lie. Alright, yeah, he's going for the kill now. Ugh. Um, why is he doing that? Oh, okay. Oh, he's is it? Wow, okay. Well, that's huge. That's really good to know. Um, so if he has four... It's two counters. Oh gosh, it'll become a 6-6 six, six if he draws another land. Oh dear. Um, uh, that's rough. I actually don't know what to do. If he draws another snow land, we're just dead. I guess we just go for it. Okay, you're going to pay two. He does. Okay. That's nice to know. He can't do it this turn, so he can't attack. Oh, but he found the fourth land.
I need to draw another glass casket or banishing light. We need four tilt something. Ugh. It's not the best either. He's he's discarding a lot of cards though. Is he just gonna discard all his red cards? Alright, he's <laughs> he has an ember cleave, yeah, that's bad. But he is pressuring me nonetheless. Ugh, drew another land. That's not helpful. Um Jeez. Okay, so I need my removal spells plus the Skyclave Apparition. So I will say... Even? Okay, I'll attack here. That's fine. I mean, he's going to get it no matter what. So at that point, I just need to do damage and uh, hope to draw a removal spell. So this could be... A, this is up to fate here, and I've been getting a little flooded, not going to lie. So that's been unfortunate as well. So, not much I can do there, honestly. Um, yeah, that's rough. Pretty rough. I'm on a clock. Actually, I'm on the clock next turn, unless I hold back the Skyclave Apparition and just chump, which isn't great. And he found a red source. That can't be great either. And we drew a land, so we have to chump. So I can't block that, so it actually doesn't matter. So I need to block and then sack the uh, Selfless Savior. Oh, that's really unfortunate. We got flooded this game, but that happens. I mean, we got really lucky with our other games, so... Eh, it is what it is. Ooh, I did not see that coming. I think that's game. Oh yeah, good game. Ah, good play on our opponent. All right, well, eh, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get unlucky, but it is what it is. Still a good deck. I think you guys should try it out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I, thought, I had a lot of fun. Got, got to show you some cool synergies, and that's what this channel is all about. So, uh, yeah, if you're still here, remember hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit that alarm bell. And, uh, again, fan, uh, fan Submission Fridays, if you want to drop a deck list or you want me to create one from your suggestions, let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Right now up top, YouTube is showing a view of my most recent upload, and right below that is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically like. So go ahead, check those out. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you for your next Nerd Phil.